What's up guys? Welcome back to the third floor arcade. This is Jason and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Marvel vs. Capcom cabinet from Arcade 1UP. Now I just received this cabinet earlier today. I quickly put this thing together and my initial impressions on this thing is that this cabinet is definitely pretty awesome. Uh, now this cabinet is going for $4.99 currently on the Best Buy website. Uh, this cabinet includes this really cool looking stool. Definitely pretty awesome there. And uh, what else do you get for that $4.99? You get this uh, custom themed riser. Definitely one of my favorite risers that Arcade 1UP has done so far. You get these amazing side panels. Now one of the cool features on this cabinet is that the left side um, emphasizes the marvel and then the other side if you go over here emphasizes the uh, capcom definitely a nice little uh, feature there i think adds a nice touch to this cabinet now this cabinet also comes with the uh, light up marquee uh, this thing definitely looks pretty awesome as well super clear Arcade 1UP has really been doing a nice job with their light up marquees, I think. Seems like they just keep getting better and better. And also, this cabinet also comes with the uh, light up deck protector, which changes colors if you want. I think it looks pretty cool with the uh, blue. Kind of matches the, uh, the rest of the cab pretty well. So this game has the five games on here. Uh, of course, you got Marvel vs. Capcom which is an arcade classic. You got uh, Marvel Super Heroes on here. You got X-Men versus Street Fighter. You got uh, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems. You got uh, Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter. So you got the uh, five games on here. So let's take a look at some gameplay on this cabinet. So here we've got the uh, main menu screen here. Um, it's pretty basic. Um, on the left, you have um, all five games here. You got uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. You got X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Marvel Super Heroes. And uh, War of the Gems. And then uh, to the right, you got all your uh, the Wi-Fi. Right now, I'm not logged in. But um, if you were logged in, you would see all the players who are available. Uh, one of the huge selling points to this cabinet is that uh, you can connect to Wi-Fi and play other people um, from around the world. It's definitely a pretty cool, I think. Pretty cool option. Definitely looking forward to playing some of you guys on here. Um, keep an eye out for the third floor arcade. Um, I'll be on here a lot, actually. So, uh, hold on, let me go back to the main menu screen. Um, well, yeah, like as I said, this main menu screen, nothing uh, too fancy about it. Uh, not like the Golden Axe one, which kind of blew me away. Um, but I mean, this is fine. Looks good, looks good enough. So uh, let's start off with the uh, headlining game. That's uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Let's go, Bob. So Marvel vs. Capcom was a huge arcade hit, which came out in 1998. Uh, I remember playing this in the arcade. It was like immediately one of my favorite fighting games. The controls on this cabinet are definitely very, uh, very good, pretty top notch. Um, definitely a lot better than uh, some of the previous fighting cabinets Arcade One Up has done. I think the controls are definitely better than like Mortal Kombat. Uh, definitely better than the uh, first wave Street Fighter uh, cabinet. They definitely feel pretty good. The sticks feel good. The buttons are decent. Definitely gets the job done. Ideally, you would want some uh, sticks and buttons on this, um, but uh, these, these definitely are sandwiches, but they're good enough.
Let's go with uh, Ryu. Let's quickly jump out of here. Go back to main menu. Man, I love that game. Marvel vs. Capcom. Such a good game. Let's check out uh, X Men vs. Street Fighter. Let's go, partner. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, I believe this game came out in uh, 1996 in the arcades, and uh, soon after ported to, I believe, Sega Saturn, and then uh, Sony PlayStation. Another game, great game in the arcades, though, man. This was so good. Go with uh, Ken and go with Ken and Ryu. Let's jump out of here. That was uh, X Men versus Street Fighter. Man, what a fun game that is! All right, so uh, next up we got uh, Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter. Let's go, partner. Now, Marvel, this game, Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter. This actually came out a year after X Men versus Street Fighter in the arcades. 
Uh, I believe this came out in uh, 1997. Are you ready to believe Capcom and Marvel have joined forces once again to bring you in Marvel Superhero vs. Street Fighter! So I'm gonna go, uh, the can again. Uh, Captain America. Let's see what I can do here. another game that was um, first came out in the arcades and then uh, after that it was ported to uh, uh, this game was ported to I think Sega Saturn and then uh, and Sony PlayStation America was always my uh, go-to in the uh, Marvel, Marvel uh, superheroes. Man, I'm getting whooped here. Superheroes versus Street Fighter. Let's jump out of here. So then you got Marvel Superheroes. Uh, Arcade One Up already uh, did a full cabinet with Marvel Superheroes. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of how they overlap games on different cabinets. But uh, either way, I mean, it's good. It's a good game. If you don't have the, the uh, Marvel Super Heroes cabinet, this is a great game to add to your collection. Uh, let's go Wolverine. Final game was an interesting selection uh, to add to this from Arcade 1-Up. Uh, this was not an arcade game. Uh, War of the Gems. I actually never even played this before. I think this was like a Super Nintendo game or something. 
Um, I quickly played this earlier. I uh, wasn't a huge fan of this, this game, but uh, I'll show you guys. This game came out in 1996. This is kind of like a um, side-scrolling action game. Another cool feature about this cabinet, um, I believe it was like this in the arcades, but you got all the moves listed for all the different guys. So uh, you don't have to, um, you know, look up the moves. They got these got they got the moves right in front of you. Definitely makes it a lot easier. Dr. Doom's Castle. Uh, let me pick your character. Let's try Iron Man. What did I do? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Arcade One Up would add this to this cabinet, this game. So as you can see, it's a very uh, old school kind of Super Nintendo type game. So I'm gonna jump out of here. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, definitely my favorite game on here is Marvel vs. Capcom. But uh, yeah, the, the four games on here are amazing games, great arcade classics. Let's go, Bob. Um, this cabinet is definitely definitely moves in, into my uh, probably top three, the top five arcade one up so far. Um, probably top three actually. Definitely a great cab if you're a fan of uh, these fighting games. I highly recommend this. And, uh, if you got if any of you guys end up getting this, uh, keep on the lookout for third floor arcade on uh, on the Wi-Fi. I'll be on here a lot. I would love to play some of you guys. All right, guys, that does it for the review. Uh, thanks for checking into the third floor arcade. It's greatly appreciated. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Ready. Fight. All right, guys, thanks for checking into the third floor arcade. Please like and subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.